our next cat is one of our male cats that's available for adoption. And we really don't have that many cats on the adoption floor right now. Um, you know, we have a couple of older kittens, a couple of adult cats, and uh, a lot of empty cages, which is a good thing for us. Um, not as much to choose from, but the ones we do have to choose from are great cats like Henry here. His full name is Henry M. Peaches. We've decided the M stands for Marshall recently. Um, he's about two years old and he's a cream tabby. He's a handsome little guy. He has a very cute little unique face, kind of looks concerned all the time. Um, he's very sweet, very affectionate, um, a little bit nervous in new environments, but he hasn't been with us all that, that long really. Um, just kind of still settling in, um, recently went on the adoption floor. Um, much like Merlot, he enjoys his cat bed. His, his kind of looks like a couch and he just kind of lays there, like he's watching TV as people walk by. Um, he's been interested in play and, uh, you know, seems to be, you know, uh, a very easygoing kind of relaxed guy. Um, and hopefully we'll make a great addition to any family. We don't have any age restrictions on where he can go. Um, you know, when he came in in really good condition, you know, um, his nails were already trimmed. Um, he was already neutered. So he was definitely somebody's pet. Um, they just unfortunately never um, came forward to claim him. And you can even kind of see the ring where he was wearing a collar at one point. So um, somebody's missing out. If you're watching the show and he's your cat, then definitely stop in. Um, but otherwise, we'll find him a, a fantastic and, and loving home. Um, you know, he's got that cute little, like, peachy-colored nose, too. There's just so many great things about uh, Mr. Peaches here. So Henry has quite a unique name, yes. and I heard there's a story behind it. What's that? There is a little bit of a story behind it. You know, we talked about how he definitely looks like he's been owned, and uh, multiple stages throughout our process, we looked through our loss reports, and we found uh, a loss report that was emailed to us through Paw Boost, which is a company that people can report to, um, and we saw a picture of a guy, a guy that looked a lot like uh, this cat here. So we had already kind of figured that we were going to name him Henry. But then the cat in this uh, loss report said Peaches. And we were like, we're already kind of committed to Henry. So he became Henry M. Peaches. But there was only a, an email address on the loss report as a, as a contact. And despite multiple attempts to email, um, multiple attempts to kind of post on another Facebook page as well, um, nobody came forward. So we've proceeded... Um, with, you know, making him available. Um, but, you know, if you, we, I say all of this to remind people, you know, if your pet is lost, file a loss report because, again, multiple stages along the way, we check those to see if we have an animal here that matches that description to help you get your animal back into your home. Um, the same goes for if you find animals. You know, we have found reports where, you know, I found this dog, I'm gonna keep him at my house until an owner comes forward. We can connect people. So you wanna make sure you're really filing those report reports. Um, another thing that can be super helpful to make sure your animals get back home is microchipping them. You know, all of ours are microchipped before they leave, cats and dogs, um, but we also have microchip clinics here every Wednesday. It's $20 cash to, impl to implant and register those microchips. So um, it gives you that kind of sense of safety and security and that secondary line of defense to get your pet back to you. Um, but for Henry and Peaches here, if you want to make him your new pet and make sure that he stays inside where he's going to be there with you forever, um, you can go to visit fcac.as.me to book that appointment to visit.